The winner from last night is Erin May Quaid. Video of her going into labor during the DFL convention this past spring made national headlines. And last night, with her baby in her arms, she won her primary race. Our Courtney Godfrey caught up with state Senate hopeful Erin May Quaid and baby Hattie to reflect now on this road to election night. Courtney? Yeah, she didn't receive the DFL endorsement in April after having to leave to give birth. But last night, she won with voters, partially fueled by the video scene across the country. And strengthen our human and public infrastructure. Excuse me. They were the contractions heard coast to coast. What? A Minnesota State Senate hopeful giving her DFL convention speech while in full-blown labor. Honestly, that day is a blur. I remember about a minute before each contraction and a minute after each contraction. The video quickly going viral. Actually, it was a nurse who came in in the morning who said, how are you feeling? And I said, oh, I'm really tired. I actually was in labor in public for a while. And she goes, oh, I know I saw it on the news. And so we like turned on our phones and we're like, oh. Baby Hattie's timely entrance forcing Aaron May Quaid to leave the convention and give up any chance of getting the party endorsement, but encouraging her to keep up her campaign. I think it's really obvious kind of what would have happened if it had been a different medical emergency, but this is something that pregnant people experience all the time as we just expect them to endure. With a wave of support from moms in her district, May Quaid went from the Democratic underdog to winning her primary. 14-week-old Hattie in her arms when the race was called. So much of this is for her and for her generation and for the future we want for our kids. And so just having her in my arms and knowing that we did it was amazing. And while May Quaid enjoys these little moments at home, the November election means there's no slowing down. The DFL has defended not pausing the nomination process due to May Quaid being in labor, but the candidate tells us they have since changed the convention rules so that something like this won't happen again. Kelsey? All right. Thank you, Courtney.